In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up push notifications in a Flutter Android app using OneSignal. To get started, I'm creating a new Flutter project. Then, we'll add two essential packages, OneSignal Flutter and Firebase Core. Before we move forward, we need to set up Firebase for our app. So, let's head over to the Firebase console and create a new project. Just give it a name and follow the setup steps. Once that's done, our Firebase project is ready. Now, let's switch to the OneSignal dashboard to create an app there. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up. Once you're in, click on New App, give it a name, and choose Google Android as the platform. Next, OneSignal will ask for your FCM configuration. For that, we need to upload a service account JSON file from Firebase. So, go back to the Firebase console, open your project settings, and make sure Firebase Cloud Messaging is enabled. Then, go to the Service Accounts tab, and click the Generate a New Private Key button, and download the JSON file. Now, back in the OneSignal dashboard, upload the JSON file, click Save and Continue, and then choose Flutter as the platform. You'll now see your app ID. Go ahead and copy that. I'm storing it in a constants file in the Flutter project. Click Done, and you should now see push notifications marked as active. Next, we'll need to update the Android project's minimum SDK version. Open the build.gradle file inside the Android app directory, and set the min SDK version to 23. I'm running the app on a real Android device. To initialize one signal, let's follow the setup instructions in their Flutter SDK documentation. Copy the initialization code and add it to the main function of your Flutter app. Be sure to paste the app ID we got earlier into the config. Now, restart the app and allow the notification permission on your device. That's it, the setup is complete for Android. To test everything, Head back to the OneSignal dashboard and open the Subscriptions section from the sidebar. You should see your device listed there. Add the device to the test subscription group. Now, go to the Push section under Messages and click on New Push. I'm using a simple template for this test. Once it's ready, click on Test and Preview. Select the device, and send the test push. And just like that, the notification pops up on the device, working perfectly. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, share it with others, and subscribe for more Flutter tutorials. See you in the next one.